हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ नर्वस सिस्टम एज वी नो द एवरी सिस्टम इज फॉर्म बाय द टू टाइप ऑफ सेल्स वन आर द मेन सेल्स ऑफ दैट सिस्टम एंड द अदर्स आर द सपोर्टिव सेल्स एज वी डिस्कस अबाउट द मस्क्युलर टिश्यू so in the muscular tissue the main cells of this muscular tissue are the myocytes these myocytes are combinedly form the muscle fibers and finally this muscle fiber combinedly form the muscles also there are some supportive cells for formation of the tissue as like that in the nervous system also there are the three type of the cells first the basic cells are the neurons these neurons are combinedly form the nerve fibers these nerve fibers are combinedly form the nerves whereas here also the supporting cells and the supporting cells in the nervous system are known as the neuroglial cells so these three are the main components which forming entire the nervous system neurons neurons combinedly form the nerve fibers and nerve fibers combinedly form the nerves and there are some supporting cells they are known as a neuroglial cells so here in this video we are discuss about the types of this all three first of all the neurons so anatomically the neurons are main three types unipolar neuron they are also known as the pseudo unipolar neurons then there are the bipolar neurons and then there are the multipolar neurons so what are the unipolar neurons as we have discussed in the previous lecture that neuron has many many processes which are known as the neurites the neurites are the two types the dendrites and the axons so dendrites what is the function of the dendrites to con to converts the information from surrounding to the neuron and what is the function of the axon to uh, travel uh, in the axon the information is traveling away from the cell body so if there are many dendrites are present and single axon so this type of the neurons are known as a multipolar neuron but if there is only one dendrite and one axon so this type of neurons are known as a bipolar neuron but if from the cell body firstly there is a presence of only one single process and finally this process is divided in the two type and from that one is uh, acting as a dendrite and one is acting as a axon so this type of the neuron are known as a unipolar neuron or the pseudo unipolar neuron so example of the unipolar or pseudo unipolar neuron are the posterior nerve root ganglia means in the nerves in the spinal nerves uh, from that posterior nerve root ganglia this type of the neurons can be found so the example of bipolar neurons are the retina in the cochlear nerve also there is a bipolar type of the neuron then the multipolar neuron so anterior gray column so in the anterior gray column there is a presence of the multipolar neuron then according to size of the nerve fiber neurons can be classified in the two types golgi type 1 and golgi type 2 so the nerve fibers which have a long axon they are known as a golgi type 1 type and which have a short axon they are known as golgi type Two. Then the nerve fibers. So nerve fibers, according to their function, they can be classified in the efferent and the afferent. Efferent they are the motor, and the afferent they are the sensory. Then according to the myelination process, if the axons are myelinated, so they are known as a myelinated fiber, and if axons are non myelinated they are known as a non myelinated nerve fibers then according to the area of supply means this nerves 
are supplying to the viscera or the somatic area according to that they are classified in the four different types somatic efferent type visceral efferent type somatic afferent type and visceral afferent type so here you can see there is a efferent to efferent so efferent means what they are the motor so efferent somatic means it is supplying the information to the somatic area efferent visceral means it is supplying the information to the visceral area somatic afferent means it is converge all the information from the somatic area to the brain and the visceral efferent it means it converges all the information from the visceral area to the brain so other all visceral efferent somatic afferent and visceral afferent type they have further lead division in the general spatial general spatial and general and spatial means it is collecting the general information it is collecting the spatial it is general it is spatial like that but you must have to remember that the somatic efferent it is not dividing in this general and spatial type so then finally the neuroglial cells as we have discussed the neuroglial cells are the supporting cells so actually in the central nervous system there are different type of the neuroglial cell whereas the peripheral nervous system there is a different type of the neuroglial cells so as we have discussed in the myelination process that in the central nervous system oligodendrocytes are acting as a myelination cells whereas in the peripheral nervous system there is a swan cell acting as a myelination cells so in the central nervous system there are the four main types of the neuroglial cells astrocytes oligodendrocytes ependymal cells and microglial cells so what is the function of astrocytes so astrocytes its function is for the nutrition oligodendrocytes we know they are no uh, they are participating in the myelination process ependymal cells they are lining the cavity of the central nervous system so in the central nervous system there is a cavity for the circulation of the csa so this cavity it is lined by this ependymal cells then the microglial cells so microglial cells are behave like a macrophages of the central nervous system so micro mac, uh, macrophages they are the macrophages of the cent, uh, microglial cells they are the macrophages of the central nervous system then the in the peripheral nervous system there is main two types of the neuroglial cells they are the satellite cells and the swan cells so we already know this function of the swan cell they are participating in the myelination process in the peripheral nervous system so this is all about this components of nervous system okay thank you